The airbrush is very similar to the brush tool, but with a few small differences. Allow me to demonstrate. I'm using practically the same settings for both brushes in order to show a more accurate comparison. I'm going to enable glossiness. I will then select the brush tool with an opacity of 30%. I will click and drag and I will pass over this area multiple times while still pressing down. Now I'll go to the airbrush and I'll do the same thing. You'll notice that it continues to build depth indefinitely, whereas opacity, it has already reached the 100% mark. In order to do likewise with the brush tool, I would have to make multiple subsequent strokes. It's quite apparent at this point that the airbrush is going to be much softer. If you want to paint with nice soft falloffs and a gradual buildup, then the airbrush is the way to go. Let's look at one other slight difference, and that is with roughness. To better illustrate this, let me go to the texture editor and select the roughness map. This automatically switches the viewport shading to roughness only. You can also access this in the view menu under glossiness roughness only. With my roughness value set to zero, I will lightly press and you'll notice a gradual buildup. On a side note, the draw mode is also pressure sensitive and that does contribute to the gradual buildup as well. We can see that it builds up to 100% black. I hit the delete key. Now let's go to a roughness of 100%. And obviously, it will build up to 100% white. I will hit the delete key once again and change my roughness value to 50%. And as you would expect, it builds up to 50% gray. The point here is that unlike opacity, roughness will build up to the value you set in the toolbar. I'll go back to color. I'm going to paint with just color, no middleness. And again, just lightly press. So once more, to reemphasize, with regard to the color channel, it doesn't really matter what the initial value is in the toolbar. It's going to build up to 100%. The difference is, if you set a lower value initially, then it can build up more gradually than if you set 100% initially. And again, your brush pressure will play a part depending on the draw mode that you choose in the ePanel. And with that, we will conclude this video on the airbrush in 3D Coat and 3D Coat Textura. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.